This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video, we will cover explosions. All you need to do is come up here to the Actor Class Browser and under Effects, you expand the plus sign here and you will find Explosion Chain. So the only reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because you cannot use the 3D view to add your chain. So if I do this, right click, add, nothing happens. You must use one of these grid views. So let's use the top down. So if I come up here in the top down, right click, add explosion, and there it is. And now you can find it there and then move it down to wherever you need to go. So just keep that in mind. That's really the only thing about this tutorial. So let me delete this one because I've made one already. Here's the one that I made. So you right click on it, properties. A couple things you need to do. You'll need to have a tag in the event because it's going to be a trigger that triggers this explosion. I called it boom. And then under the explosion chain, you can choose if this is going to damage a player, how much damage you're going to do. So here I put 10, but for the most part, explosions are generally used in an assault map or a single player mod. And it's more just to show an effect of some sort, like an exploding wall or exploding bridge. So it's probably not intended to damage the players. But if you want to damage a player, then you can certainly do that here. The next is merely the delay time. So here I just put 0.1 seconds, but you can adjust that. This I didn't touch. It's the momentum transfer, which is some big number. And this I did adjust. This is the size of the explosion. So here I put it as 12 and we'll take a look at it in the game. So the other thing you need now is a trigger. And under trigger, under events, under the event field, you put boom. So that matches the explosion. And here I just put a decal on the floor so you know where the trigger will be. So let's take a look at this in game. So the trigger is right over that decal. And that's it. So if you need to have a series of explosions, then you will need to use a dispatcher which is covered in my triggers tutorial. I'll put a link to it and just use your imagination. I will also post a screenshot of the properties at the end of this video.